This video we're going to look at creating our privacy settings in Google Plus. The first place we'll go um, is to the privacy settings in the back end of Google Plus. So click on your name up in the right hand corner there, privacy, and here you'll see your pri the privacy settings for your Google profile. That will be viewable on searches on Google searches if somebody types in your name um, and that's that's what's going to show. So the information that's displayed there is actually in your Google profile which is your name, the current loca your current location, your current position, the first line of your introduction and the first three links in your link box and obviously your URL. So to change what other people see in Google searches, click on Edit Visibility on Profile. Now there's four areas here you can't limit access to, and that's your name, your photo, your profile, your profile gallery, and your tagline. But you can edit what's in there. So if you just um, mouse over, you'll see that it changes blue. Just click on the blue part, and you can edit. And notice you can't change the privacy setting there. So you can do that for all those areas. You can change your photo and you can change the photos in your gallery and then you can change um, manage photos there. But you can't change your access level on that. However, on a lot of the other modules here, you'll be able to see that you can actually select your privacy settings. Now you're probably aware that the backbone of Google Plus are circles and really they're just lists of people so you can control which lists of people that can view that module of your uh, Google profile and you can take it right down to custom as well. So cancel and you can actually change the setting on who can see your circles by ticking there. Apparently Mark um, Zuckerberg actually turned it off for a couple of days and, and then actually turned it on. I suppose he copped some flack. <laughs> so you can actually go to other people's profiles and see who's in their circles if they haven't unticked those. And again all these other modules are the same. You can edit and you can um, change your access there. And be aware that that first line of your introduction is what will show up on your uh, if somebody searches your name on Google. The other thing is these links here. You can edit those by just custom link. It's very simple. Let's customize the access levels there. All the way down and right down the bottom you'll notice that there's one there that says visibility in search and you can actually turn yourself off so you're not in search which makes, it's pro makes your profile private. However, um, I have read that Google don't like private profiles and they've actually, um, there's rumours that they're, they're actually closing down private profiles. And really, why would you want to be on social media if you wanted a private profile? Um, that's a bit like stalking <laughs> uh, in my book. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can actually preview your privacy settings so you can actually see what other people see when they're looking at your profile um, and then you can click on this box here and what you can do is you can preview what anyone on the web will see so you notice my email address is not visible to anyone on the web however if I type in a one of the people that are in my lists you can see how they see it so they'll see it all Okay. The next area we're going to look at is circles because by using circles you, you ultimately control your privacy in posts. So click on circles and I take a minimalistic view. I think um, the less number of circles the better. It's going to be a lot easier to manage and you're not going to have those little accidents where you send out posts or access to posts um, that people shouldn't be seeing. So keep it simple is my philosophy. So this first tab up here, people in your circle. 
circle. So these are the people that you're following. They're like your followers. And then Google actually create a find and invite as well. So they use your previous friends in circles to create another suggested list. Um, you'll notice that there's a block. So anyone that you want to block from seeing your profile or seeing any of your posts, you just drag and drop in there. So using circles to control the privacy of a post. So when you go to post, you get to select which circle you want that post to go to. And that's how you control the privacy. Now there's just one issue to remember that when you send a post onto a person or a group of people in a circle, you can't control who they send that post off to. But there is a setting you can set after you've posted to stop those people posting your post out to their circles. So go to um, select a circle. So you can either select a circle, your circles, all your circles, extended circles, that's friends of friends the public and groups or different um, customizations there. So if I wanted to send it to my family, um, but I didn't want my family to send it on, I would share and then I would use this little drop down and I'd disable reshare. That then becomes a truly private post. Well, not really truly because they can just copy and paste it, but um, it, it does limit. So if you click on there, you'll actually see who can actually view that post. So that's your privacy setting on posts. So now that we've found out how we can control the privacy levels on our posts, the other thing is chat. And um, if you're a Facebook user, you'll know how annoying it is and time wasting chat can be. So Google have actually got this unique little drop down here and it's very hard to see because unless you scroll over it, you won't see it at all. So just use that little drop down and click on circles. Now what you can do is actually select the groups, or the circles that you want to be accessible by chat. So you can select which people can annoy you to chat. This great feature, which I love, which is the um, start a hangout. And as far as I can tell, you can't control who comes and goes from a hangout. Now you can invite people, but you can't stop those people inviting other people. Um, and I'm sure that Google Plus will be able to, or, or will be creating some sort of privacy settings um, or private hangouts in the future. And, you know, let's face it, we're only looking at a platform here that's a little over two weeks old. So I'm sure that they're collecting lots of feedback and um, will change a lot of settings and, and privacy levels as they go. So um, as we scroll down the privacy page, now this is really interesting. If you click on this sign into dashboard, it'll ask you to log in. This is like your total Google account profile, I suppose you could call it. And it's got everything that Google can access in your login. So um, it might be um, beneficial to go in there and just check to see what um, information you're sharing because you can see these little icons there. They're actually sh telling you that there is some sharing on that. So you might need to go back and manage the level of access for those. And the other one that I'd be concerned with are, are documents if you've got Google documents that are sh you're sharing. So that's that's very interesting. Um, can we go back to there? Now I'm I think that's just about it. Oh, there's a privacy center you can go to as well. So if you want to read up a bit more about the privacy, uh, the Google privacy um, policies, and how to edit any further privacy settings. Um, and I think that's that's about all that I've discovered in the privacy settings. If you um, have any comments or any suggestions or if you come across anything in Google Plus that you think might be able to be used to uh, customize privacy, let me know. You can post um, somewhere around this video. <laughs> okay, well thanks for watching. I hope it's um, been helpful and I do understand that a lot of people um, are very conscious of their privacy but remember really anything on the internet is not private. So if you have anything that you want to keep secret or private, don't go posting it on any social media platform. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.